how to draw a zone in trading view chart that's a topic for discussion today welcome back to trading view trick series from market secrets before we get into today's session i'd like to mention that market secrets had recently launched algo traders program atp if you are someone who is interested in learning algo trading then check out our atp program i'll leave the link to it in the description section of this video and with that note let's jump into today's session so if you are uh, you know a price action trader or a demand and support trader right then uh, you would be using zone drawing right so most of you would be using the zone drawing tools but uh, if you look at um, you know me broker or investing.com right so we have uh, you know zone drawing tools available readily but in trading view we don't okay so how to you know draw draw the zones in trading view since we don't have any ready made tools right how to go about drawing those uh, zones so that's what we are going to learn today so what we have to do is like uh, you know since we have uh, don't have a you know ready made zone drawing tool right we need to you know uh, use any of the existing tools and manipulate it uh, for our purposes so what i'm going to do is like i'm going to use this price range uh, tool okay so first i'm going to add it to the favorite okay if you add it to favorite you know you'll be able to see it uh, in the floating window okay so this is a uh, uh, you know a beautiful thing so what you can do is like you can use this uh, price range to create uh, your zones okay so what i'm going to do is i'm clicking on this and i'm just going to draw a zone okay so for this particular um, you know uh support area i'm drawing but if you look at uh, it right this doesn't look like a zone i mean uh, you know it's actually added here but the view is uh, you know kind of cluttered okay so let's uh you know see how to edit it so you can go to the settings and what you can do is like since this is a support zone you can uh, give uh, you know green color and uh, you know background color also you can set it to green and uh, still right uh, this uh, doesn't look uh, really good what you can do is like you can uh, you know increase the opacity to 100 percentage so that you know it looks like a proper zone um, so you know maybe around 80 or 90 percentage uh, would be suffice and you should always extend it all the way to the right okay not to the left but uh, you know uh, your zones i mean the future uh, price action will happen on the right side so it's always better to extend it to the right side and maybe to a, for for a better look right you can give uh, you know uh, black borders and even the opacity i think you know uh, yeah this looks better so around uh, 60 percentage looks better so and you can remove the labels you you know um, you don't need those labels so you can remove the labels so yeah this should do if you give now right so um, you know this looks actually better right so if you look at uh, uh, now right this looks like a proper zone that uh, we can uh, definitely use so this is how you need to you know uh, use this particular tool for example right now i spotted another zone so i, I you know marked it and it's actually you know extended all the way to the right so if price come back here, here right i'll uh, know it because this zone is uh, properly drawn now so this is how uh, you need to use this uh, price range tool to draw the zones okay if you have any queries on this let me know Thanks for watching.